palliative treatments are used to prolong life or to improve quality of life. So these are treatments that are not intended to be curative because disease is already metastatic. It's still spread elsewhere in the body. When patients are being seen over a period of time, what we're always looking for is, is there something that's developing that's going to cause a problem in the future? The majority of palliative radiation treatments, though, are for specific symptoms. And it needs to be a, a localized area that we can target. Good examples of that would be met metastatic disease to the bones that's causing pain. If you take someone with a, a bone lesion that's painful, about 80% of the time we can make the pain go away completely. Even more often than that, probably better than 90% of the time, we can significantly decrease the pain. The radiation works in a couple of ways. It is decreasing inflammation at that site that's associated with the body, recognizing there's a tumor there and trying to do something about it, and that causes pain. And also, it can kill tumor cells, so then the body can rebuild the bone. The body's remarkably good at rebuilding bone as long as there's enough structure as a template for it to kind of fill things in. Something that I tell my patients if I'm treating painful lesions is the radiation will s decrease the pain or make it go away over a few days or a few weeks, but it's important to know the bone's not stronger for about three months. So I usually tell them if, say, they've got a painful lesion in their spine, we're going to treat. When you feel better, I don't want you to go out and start doing jumping jacks right away because the bone's not strong enough for that. The other situations where we would use radiation would be if there was a neurologic problem, if someone had a lesion, say, in the spine and it was pushing on the spinal cord and starting to cause weakness, loss of control of the bowel or bladder, those sorts of things, we can use the radiation to shrink the tumor down, take the pressure off that nerve, and hopefully improve those situations. It's important in palliative medicine, probably at least as important as it is with curative treatments, to make sure that the right specialties are involved in evaluating the patient. The example that I just gave of a tumor in the spine pushing on the spinal cord, some of those patients need to have surgery first to decompress. Other patients can go directly to radiation. That's something where you need the neurosurgeons or the orthopedic surgeons and the radiation oncologists all talking together to make the right decision for that patient.